there are three task types in Microsoft Project. And if you visit the task information, so I'm picking on move out the old furniture here, on the advanced tab, we can see task type and a list of the three types. Now with a task type, we can either fix the units, fix the duration or fix the work. Until you add resources, none of these matter. And the default is to fix the units. Effectively in Microsoft Project, the amount of work required to carry out a task is equivalent to the number of units times the duration. And when we've entered our tasks to date, I just move that over. We've given the value for the duration. So moving out the old furniture, we've said we'll take three days. But that's not three days amount of work. That's the duration. Until we then start adding in some units of work, so someone to actually go and move out the old furniture, we don't know how much work is involved. So although they might take three days, that could be nine days work if three people have to do it. Hopefully that makes sense because it's the work that you pay for. We don't pay for three days duration. We pay for three days multiplied by however many people it takes during those three days to do the work. Now, it might be that the duration is three days, but it only takes half a person. So one person working half of that time because they're doing other things as well. In which case, our work that we pay for is actually only one and a half days. But the duration remains three. Now, changing the task type only becomes a requirement once we start to assign some resources. So our default is fixed units. OK, if you want to change that default, we go to File, Options, Schedule, and come down to this little section here. It says Scheduling Options for this project. So that's the My Bedroom with Resources project, or All New Projects. And we can change the default task type here from Fixed Units, which is the default, to Fixed Duration or Fixed Work. Now it's not really until you start experimenting and playing with the assignment that you would want to change these. So let's have a look at assigning some resources. So at the moment, move out old furniture is going to take three days. If I assign myself to do that, so that's one unit of me, so that's me working solidly for three days to move out the old furniture, then fine, no problem, I get assigned, me appears in the Gantt chart. I then subsequently go back and say, actually, it wasn't just me. I also need the decorator to give me a hand. So I sign the decorator and then click for that to take place. And you then see some changes take place. Because I've now added the decorator, the duration has dropped to one and a half days. Because there are two people doing three days work is the assumption. Now I get a little indicator option here that I can choose. And it says, you added resource to this task. Do you want to reduce the duration but keep the same amount of work, which is what's happened. It's reduced the duration down to one and a half days so that the total amount of work remains the same. Or do I actually mean increase the amount of work but keep the same duration? I choose the second option. It goes back up to three days. and I've now got myself and the decorator working hard for three days. However, he isn't going to help me out for whole three days. He's only going to help me out for half of them. If I go into the task information and resources, I can change the decorator down to a half in here. OK, and you can see that that also has a knock on effect to the duration. It's now gone up to six days because I've taken the decorator back down. So now there's effectively only one and a half people working for three days. Project's gone. Oh, it's going to take longer now. It's going to take you six days. But I get the little marker that pops out and says, OK, you've changed the hours, resources per day. So the number of units per day. Do you want to now change the duration, but keep the amount of work the same? So it's going to take us longer to do the same amount of work because the decorator is only working half time. Or change the amount of work, but keep the duration the same. That's what I really meant. And the duration goes up to six days still, but the amount of work stays the same. So you've really got to be careful as to what's happening. So let's go back and back. And let's go back all the way to no resources. It's at three days. If I now go in and change the task type before I do anything and say that it is of fixed duration. It's going to take three days to move out that old furniture, regardless of however many people help. OK. I then allocate myself. We can see it says three days, it's me. I then add the decorator. 
it stays three days because the three days is protected and the decorator is added. But I'm given a little symbol that says you've added in a resource. Do you want to reduce the duration? No. Nope. Do you want to increase the amount of work? Yes. And then I go back into the task information and make this decorator a half like we did before. OK. And you can see the three days this time has not shot up to six days. It's been totally protected by us changing the task type to fixed duration. So it cannot change the duration. Little drop down. It's changed the amount of work but kept the duration the same. That's my fine. That's what I wanted. So it's only a problem after the initial allocation. When you assign your first set of resources, that's what Microsoft Project then takes on board and says, OK, you've said two people for three days. Great, I'm going to keep the three days. There's now two people. Two times three is six days work. If you then subsequently make a change to the resources, even if it's accidental because the first one was a mistake, that's when Project then starts to recalculate. You can control that recalculation by fixing a portion of that calculation. So you can either fix the work you can fix the units or you can fix the duration. And you do that by changing the task type. Obviously, the task type has no play until you start to assign resources and work resources at that. If you assign material resources, the material resource has no effect on the duration whatsoever. 100 tints of paint multiplied by whatever the paint unit cost is in your resource sheet. But as soon as you start to assign work resources, that's when this little area becomes applicable. So it's something to keep an eye on. Now, obviously, if Microsoft Project does change your duration or your work, you get those little yellow triangles to say, I've made this change, but did you actually mean this change? And gives you the option to make a change for a different part. If you take on board and keep an eye on the task types, then it will always make the right decision. But it's something just to keep an eye on when assigning multiple work resources subsequently to a project because your project durations can suddenly start to go very, very long or very, very short if you haven't got the right amount in at the right stage.